what is the normal sperm count for a natural conception to occur? A couple who is trying to conceive naturally, the sperm count according to WHO is 15 million per ml, which is the minimum required to conceive naturally. But it is not only the sperm count, there are other parameters in the semen analysis which have to be looked after and which have to be investigated to see whether the couple can conceive naturally or not. So besides the sperm count, it is the motility of the sperms, it's the morphology of the sperm which also matters and which also counts. So when we do a semen analysis, these parameters have to be seen, the count, the motility and the morphology of the sperm. Then also whether the, how many sperms are dead or alive. So if the number of dead sperms in the semen is more, that also can lead to infertility. And then the last thing which has to be seen is the pus cells, whether there is any infection in the semen. So that also has to be seen. So these all things can be responsible for an infertility uh, due to the male partner. So once a couple who comes to us uh, for, to a fertility expert for treatment, so the basic investigation in a male which we do is the normal semen analysis. And according to the semen analysis, if the count is um, 15 million or more, the and the morphology is normal, more than 4%. The motility, actively motile sperms are more than 30%. So this is considered to be a normal semen analysis. And uh, then we have to investigate the female partner as well. And accordingly, we can uh, tell them to how to, what is the normal way of conception and we can advise them accordingly. But if the count is less than 15 million, which is known as oligospermia, in such patients, we have to see whether the count is uh, between 10 to 15 million, then definitely such a couple can be advised for IUI, that is the intrauterine insemination. Or if the number of dead sperms are more, like count is normal, but the dead sperms are more, which is known as teratozoospermia. In such patients also, IUI can be helpful because in an IUI, in an intrauterine insemination, we wash the semen sample, we remove the dead sperms and we increase the motility to some extent and then we put the uh, prepared semen, processed semen inside the uterine cavity. So if the number of dead sperms are more, this uh, technique can also be helpful. But once the count is less than 10 million or the number of dead sperms are more than 50% or if the motility is less than 20% in such patients, IVF technique and uh, IVF ICSI like intracytoplasmic sperm injection that will help in su uh, such a couple and uh, it is the most effective and the best way to treat such a patient who is having uh, less than 10 million or less than 5 million sperm count with uh, less motility and more of dead sperms. So according to these categories, we can divide and according to the semen analysis report, we can categorize as to how the patient can be benefited, whether they can go for a natural conception or IUI or IVF -XC. So uh, any couple who is facing a problem in conceiving, so they should consult the fertility expert and a basic semen analysis will help a lot and it can be deciding as to what treatment has to be given to the patient. <music>